That is the biggest joke I've ever heard in my life. Beyonce obviously would just... Who, who, Beyonce would win against anyone that you put her up against. I think Taylor would understand. I see the ice covered in our prime minister. Who is that? Oh. That's our prime minister. Oh. There you go. There's Drake. That's, I think that's an easy one. And there we go. There you go. And it's safe. Well, thank you very much. to paint this picture of me like I was like this mean girl who's a bully who like, like hates every other woman and like I don't support other women which is funny because I think anyone who knows me personally knows you're the, you're the complete opposite. that's so not me at all mm -hmm. and I think that goes to show where social media can totally paint a different picture and be completely twisted and mm -hmm. but I just think there's so much evil in social media there's so much hate there's so much bullying it's something that I'm super passionate about making a difference in because I just think that if we pour truth into it, it can change the conversation. Mm -hmm. Because I think when people create lies, if we don't combat them with the truth, they can just perpetuate. I think that's something that has messed with me the most is people just make things up. And people invent the narrative that they want to say. And then they want the world to say what they're saying. Exactly. So they want people on their side to think that their story is what's true. One rap battle full of the meanest lyrics about a celebrity since Taylor Swift's last album. <laughs> yeah. On Drop the Mic, Hollywood.